So my question to you is, do you, you want to ask me the question, do I know how to make good quality content? Well, of course I do. The problem is, personally, I'm not that good at being patient, and I'm not that good at planning things, so that makes things terrible for me. I've planned to make this video, it looks terrible, it seems like bad content, but the information in it is quality because it tells you and informs you and then you get an understanding and it clicks in your mind and then you start understanding and like, yes, I'm going to tick this, I'm going to say I like this content. So what, what question do you actually have for me about what content you want to know how to make? So quality content can come in a variety of different flavors and colors or whatever preservatives you want to call them. For one, when you're making quality content, who are you making this content for? Are you making it for yourself or are you making it for the viewer? If you're making it for the viewer, you need to look at it from their point of view. You might make a video and say to yourself, my god, this is awesome, I've made a piece of art, this is awesome, everyone's gonna love it. And then you upload it and a few hours later you're like, well, where are all my views? The thing is, it takes days, weeks, months, years to establish a good basis of views and to have a good viewer base you need to have subscriptions and to get people subscribed to your channel you really need to put the work into your videos and I mean not like making this kind of a video and saying oh my videos are so awesome and whatnot and trying to make it out that you're awesome you give people exactly what they want and in this video, this is something you want. You want to know how to make quality content for other people. If you go back and look at my channel, you'll see a lot of good quality and a lot of crap quality. And in my eyes, I'm calling it good quality. But in the viewer's eyes, it's actually very crappy quality content. Like, what's the point in this video? There's another video on another channel. I'll just watch that guy instead of you because they pres uh, prescribe give me better quality than you'll ever produce for me. So that's why you've got to establish a good viewer base and why you really need to make it everything as good as you can. Now, because I'm sort of going off topic a little bit, let's try to get point back on the straight line to point out exactly what you need to do to make quality content. For one, when you're making a video, is it a gameplay video? And if it is, then you're better off getting an idea of what this game is about instead of just jumping into it and saying this is the first time I've played this game. Because if you say that for every single video, people are just going to get bored. And the reason they're going to get bored is because this is not a brand new game that people don't know nothing about. You're talking about a game that people will instantly know something about like that. You've been waiting for it, you know this about it, you know that about it. You want to know something before you jump into the game. There are some games that are strategy games you don't really need to say, oh, I know this and that about it, but you need to understand mechanics. You don't want to be stuck there learning the mechanics while you're making your video. And if you do get in that position, the thing you should do if you're making a video is be like, excuse me, people, I am trying to figure out how to solve this. And once I do, we'll get right back into this video. And it's like you come back and you're playing the game, you're like, I got it working, but these guys are chasing me. You know, you need to really make yourself seem emotional. And if you're not emotional about the scenario that's going on, it, it's not really going to have that kind of good influence that people will feel a desire to stay with you for. So, to make it so your videos are desirable, make sure that when you watch the video, you find it something you you, you find that you want to watch this again and again and again and again. You find that it matches other content to some level of... Uh, I don't know the word. But when I figure it out, we'll get right back into this video. Okay, guys. We're back. I think the best word I can come up with is some level of complexity. I might be wrong since I've now started to forget things because I've been just going through things as quickly as possible from what I know and my understanding of things on the internet. Now, as you may have seen just now, I just sped things up. Now, what you do with that section there is you'd actually cut it out. You'd not make it visible for anyone to see. They might feel, oh, there's something important in there. I need people to see it. That's how everyone gets when they make their videos. But the thing is, that section is not important. You learning something is not important to someone else unless it was very complicated. And what you do is you then figure out 
how do I show the person who's playing the game or watching my video or whatever how to find this the simplest way possible so when you're making a tutorial you'd basically be saying okay I was stuck here but you don't tell them that and then you go along and you say to fix this problem and you show them the problem you then you tell them how to solve the problem by saying now you pause the game you go to the options then you go to the key findings go look for the use button and as you'll see there is no buttons there you click on this you press F or E or whatever is your use button and you have basically solved your problem but you haven't solved it until you hit apply you show them every step of the way you do not shortcut anything you're showing them other than the fact that you tell them it took you a long time to figure this out and you feel it's important information for them to know now in my eyes when I make co content now like the video you're seeing before you in my eyes it's partially crap and in my other set of eyes the viewers eyes I'm actually getting information which I'm actually looking for it's desirable to me because I'm not looking for video that shows anything I'm looking for a video that explains something so video quality doesn't really matter if there's movement in your video then that's good because it makes the play the person behind the screen feel involved in some way if you make a black screen you don't feel involved like I'll just do it for now to show you what I mean by black screen and not feeling involved because right now you're feeling like I'm not actually alive I, I'm not actually involving you in anything it's just a black screen it's boring what you have to have is some level of movement and some level of entertainment visually because if you're visually not mo if there's no motion in front of you to look at you don't feel motivated to play anything or do anything say for example you're starting up windows and you're just sitting there and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and it's still loading if you sat there for 30 minutes looking at a black screen how would you feel your legs would be killing you and you'd feel really stressed out you feel like kicking something punching something you you'd feel like doing a lot of things you'd be like i want to i'm going to go for a walk to the park and when you get home if your screen's still black you'll be just like really really mad now if i click my fingers again now you're involved again the point is that section there you didn't feel any it, you didn't feel like you were interacting with the video in any way or the person on the other side you need to make it so that they feel interactable they need to be you need to be a person on the other end that's interacting with your viewers and the people who are potentially going to subscribe to you if you're not doing that then people are tending to walk away now I will make this piece of advice to you when you do become a tutorer or something for high quality stuff you might want to start upgrading your gear like I have a $20 Microsoft or Logitech camera they're both about the same price apologies that I said they're both exactly the same because they're not one is a $36 camera and the other is a $20 camera this one I'm using is a Logitech by the way not a Microsoft so I'm making lots of mistakes and people don't really like mistakes it's one thing you should try to avoid and if you make a mistake P quickly fix that mistake as quickly as you can and possibly try to get rid of the mistake like if you make a mistake say for example I am having a drink and this is Milo no it's actually a coffee you want to cut the Milo out of your video so people don't realize that you accidentally said something wrong because we all make mistakes but perfecting something and making something as good as possible is about making sure there's minimal false information in your videos as possible the more false your information is the less your viewers actually want to interact with you they think you're boring they think you're dumb and that's not necessarily always the case you always appear to be dumber than you are now I don't mind I'm gonna keep making my stupid videos the way I do and if people don't like them well I'm sorry I will try to make my videos better and I'll try to organize myself better but really I don't have time personally to make high quality content because a video of high quality will take me weeks to make at this level of skill say if you're a beginner and you have a basic understanding of how to make a quality video it will take you about three weeks to make one video let's just say for example you choose your favorite youtuber they'll make a video every night or every day and it takes them sometimes eight hours to edit one video now if you don't believe me on this I could always put a link in the description to someone who's 
who said that they did spend eight hours making about a 58 second video or something along the lines of a minute long and it was a meow video so if anyone's aware of that they'll be like ah i know who that is and i know what it was so that is a fact that people spent long long times making videos even the older people the people with knowledge on how to do things so as a beginner you can actually make high quality content right off the back like that the thing is it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort now when you're starting off you've got to play around with things you have got to look at things the way that the person on the other end is going to look at them don't look at them from the eyes of yourself because if you're looking at things and saying this is awesome yeah sure it's awesome but it's not what the viewers want to see they want to see something based around the game or the video you're making and what it's about. If you throw something out of context, everyone's just going to be like, this is boring, this isn't what I want to watch. You have to make things energetic and entertaining as possible and put a lot of energy into this stuff and keep it consistent as possible. The more consistency, the better it is. Also, every now and then, try to throw up a few words on your screen if you can depending on if they're keywords or not. If they're keywords, the keywords seem to grab people's attention the most. And the reason they do is because people like visually see it and they're like, oh, that's what this is about. He's talking about this. This is something I want to know. This is something I don't want to know. People start to click in their minds and start to hear you and listen to you. Like, personally, I'm listening to myself and I'm trying to catch up with every word I'm saying. But here's the thing. The because of the context I'm doing things in, if I pull off my camera right now and show you my screens, I'm not reading anything off the screens. If you're a beginner, what you want to do is you want to plan a script. You want to every now and then look backwards and forwards between the camera and this screen to basically say, you know, throw, keep yourself in context. Line one, you do this. Line two, you do this. Line three, you do this. And so on and so forth. And keep yourself on a schedule. Say if you're out of the schedule, if you go from like step one, step five, in such an instant jump and then you realise, oh, I missed step two. The mistake is you're going backwards instead of forwards. The thing is you want to stay on track. So if you do skip one and you go straight to five, you want to fill in these ones separately. So what you do is you split one and five and push them apart and put the information in between one and five. You don't go one, five, two, three, four okay you don't do that that's bad no one wants to watch that video and also the key to keeping your videos as good as possible is to straight away in the blink of an eye start talking about what's going on in your video what the question is and what you're talking about for example in this video I basically said like you want me to you want you want to ask me a question and people will be like, oh, what's the question? And then they hear what the question is. And is this one I want to listen to or not? Because they might read the title. It might be what they think it is. But they might watch the video and it's completely something else by accident. And yeah, I really want to make people aware that, you know, it is what you're talking about. And they want to hear your voice. And when your voice is matching what you're talking about, what the title says, then people start to be like, yes, I'm going to join you. I've watched a lot of videos and I've had a lot of experience with what I should do and what I shouldn't do, but I've never actually physically done anything because I'm still at a beginner's level of making videos. However, I did learn a little skill when I was doing something for a little video because someone wanted to challenge me at something and say that I was posting a lot and liking their shit a lot and commenting a lot. So I ended up learning some new skills through that experience. Having a fight with someone who is like an enemy to you is a good idea sometimes. It's fun because you start learning new skills. Like if you challenge someone, you start thinking, okay, i got to work outside the box. I want to count every time they said something. So I managed to make a counter so every time they said something, I animated a new number. It would add one, 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 and it would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so forth till 14, I think, was the maximum. Anyway, I feel like this is it for the video, and I feel like you guys will be able to understand what I'm talking about. There is so much information here, and a little bit of it is out of context and in the wrong order. But you know, you'll be able to understand it, and it'll be perfect for a lot of people out there asking the question, how do I make good content? 
the whole key to making good content is not to do it the way you think you got to do it do it from the viewers perspective do it as if you're watching your own video when it's not your video <clears throat> do it like this your friend made the video he uploaded to his channel what do you actually think of the video you could go up to your friend easily and say that shit you could not easily come up to your own video once it's on the internet and say it's shit the last video I just made, I thought that was actually pretty good. I thought that was funny and enjoyable to watch, even though I made it. Well, anyway, I better let you go, guys, because this video has just dragged on too long. And it is bad to have long, long videos. If you want to keep things as consistent and pristine as possible and small, yeah, bad context and everything. That's why I am terrible at this stuff. I haven't got a plan. I just do it because I've got a little bit of time. Actually, I don't have time because it's 12.36 and I'm waking everyone up because it's actually midnight or actually beyond midnight. So anyway, thank you all for watching and goodbye. Here's my boom mic.